Welcome to Deflect and Distract with Christia Freeland. Today we will observe several techniques in deflecting questions and distracting from the question remaining unanswered. Should Loblaw be able to make a deal with Glentel, a company owned by Bell & Rogers that pushes other telecom carriers out of grocery stores, what kind of intervention is needed? Um, thank, thank you for the question. And, you know, we are very proud as a government that we are making a historic once-in-a-generation change to competition law in Canada. Because the fact is... Notice the bait, generational change. After very slow, expressive talking, you are drawn into an expectation of something substantial. But alas, here comes the deflection. Things are challenging for a lot of Canadians. A lot of Canadians are really struggling to pay their bills at the end of the month. And we recognize that we need more competition. More competition in the telecom sector, more competition in the grocery sector. That is the way that we get prices down for everyone. Canadian competition law currently doesn't sufficiently require there to be competition. And that's why we have put forward a generational change that is going to force more competition into the Canadian market. How was that for word salad? Kamala, anyone? So many words, but nothing said. Generational change flouted again. But what is it, exactly? Now comes the distraction. That, you know, that may sound a little bit abstract, but the reality is these changes are going to make life more affordable every day for Canadians. They're going to make it more affordable to buy your groceries. They're going to make your phone bill more affordable. That's why it's so important, and that's why, as Mark was saying, Change is so earth-shattering, yet tells you nothing. Change the subject to attack the opposition party. Can't waste any opportunity to blame them for her failings. Flipping the script, she can now dodge answering the question completely. What a pro. Justin can teach more than drama class. It's really unacceptable at a time when many people are struggling to have the Conservatives continue to filibuster legislation, to have the Conservatives continue to prevent measures that people need right now to be passed into law so that we can... Afraid her mouth may outrun her brain, she speaks very slowly. This makes it harder to comprehend what she is saying because our brains are stuck waiting for the words, disorienting them. Force more competition into groceries, more competition into telcos, so that Canadians can get the things they need and not pay too much for them. Mm -hmm. Are the trademark nod and hair flip priceless? Let's explore the next example. Canada ranks among the top 10 countries when it comes to the most vehicles stolen, then exported abroad. Many of them are stolen here in Toronto. What kind of message does that send about Canada? Um, well, thank you very much for that question. By thanking the reporter for the question, she buys some time to think. With the use of very slow talking, she attempts to come up with a plausible answer. And I was very glad to be in Brampton um, with my colleagues, um, Minister LeBlanc, the Minister for Public Safety, Minister Varani, the Minister of Justice, with the Commissioner for the RCMP, uh, with one of the senior leaders of the CBSA, um, and also with Mayor Patrick Brown and many of his city councillors. Name dropping taken to an entire new level. By associating herself with all these people, she attempts to co-opt their credibility. This is a master class. Well done, Christia. Um, the fact is that auto theft is unacceptable. This is a real challenge in the lives of many Canadians, in the lives of many of our constituents here in the GTA. Um, it makes life scary. It makes life more expensive. It raises the insurance rates for everyone. Um, and it is just not okay. Stating the obvious is a good way to deflect a question, 
when you are not sure how to respond. Leveraging a really long answer helps distract from the fact the question isn't being answered at all. And that is why our government is working very, very hard with all levels of government, with law enforcement at all levels, at the Port of Montreal, at intermodal stations, to crack down on this and really to stop it. Working with all levels, with everybody, yet after nine years it's worse than ever. Blame others for your failures, Christia. Blame others. The reality is we need more tools to do this, and those tools are also in legislation we have put forward before Parliament. We have toughened anti-money laundering rules and created more tools to enforce those rules. We are also seeking to actually ban some of the equipment which is used to steal cars. We need the legal tools to do this. Those tools are before Parliament right now. Frankly, I can't see any reason that anyone wants to help car thieves, um, that anyone wants to slow down our work and the work of our hardworking law enforcement officers across the country and here in the GTA to really end this. Another not so veiled attempt to blame the opposition party, whom are not in position to hinder this, are at fault. Oh, Christia, you are one of a kind. So, you know, again, I would just say law enforcement agencies are working very, very hard. All orders of government, you know, you asked specifically about Toronto, the provincial government, the municipalities, we are all laser focused on this. We do believe more tools are necessary, so let's pass that legislation so we have the tools to end this. Thank you for watching Deflect and Distract with Christia Freeland. Now you may understand why Canada is in the mess it's in. It's time. Out with the old, in with the new.